Alright, so, uh, new Scotty came out this week, so of course I got to try her out on the bird knife. I want to say that the results were pretty nice. I do kind of, like, wish I had gone with a different team here, and I might try out uh, some other teams to find out, like, a better version for her. Because, um, <laughs> the way Megalda and Scotty interacted here in this one was not very good. Maybe if I just removed Megalda's Holy Relic, it would have worked, so... Um, Scotty is pretty good, actually. She's a pretty good damage dealer. Like, for the most part, with her single targets, we're doing, like, decent damage. And her ultimate heals. So, all around, like, a pretty good character for this. Um, especially when we got to phase 3, and you're gonna see, I did get the, uh, the condition where every turn he places a debuff on me for attacking defense. That was magical, because <laughs> Scotty at one point had, like, 9 debuffs. Uh, <laughs> so, you like... She took away more than half the bird's attack uh, and defense, so it was uh, it was pretty nice. So of course, Scotty, first debuff on her, she decreases all enemies' attack uh, and defense by eight percent and increases damage of ally skills by fifteen percent. I did ask Grand Cross Database because you know she speaks Japanese and she actually like, translated it. If she thinks the way it's worded, it means that every debuff indeed increases damage by 15, or if it's a flat 15 increase, and she says the way it's worded, it implies that for each debuff on her, she increases allies damage by 15%, so you want to have as, much, as many debuffs on her as you can. Uh, it didn't work out that good with Megalda here, because Megalda's Holy Relic cleanses when she uses a healing card. So, a lot of times, especially here on stage 1, I started being like, okay, let me let me start building up my, um, my Sky, and I don't want to, like, heal. Um... And <laughs> I end up like not having many buffs for Melee on phase four and almost lost. So um, I think what I could have done differently here is I, instead of using Megaldi again, just use Green Arthur and just go full on with the whole like, okay, I have Melee's damage reduction, Green Arthur's damage reduction, plus I'm lowering his attack, uh, and then swap Matrona for someone else, like Brynhildr for like even having like m another damage dealer. Or. Yeah, or, or like, um, oh, a healer with green, green Liz, but, um, and now you, you need a taunt, huh? Maybe Darieri. Just swap her out for Darieri. And then you can have um, an, uh, a tank that also does damage. Um, and then you need a healing, right? So, you can just work with that. I don't know. That, that, that could be something that I might try out. But, generally speaking, this unit is pretty good. Like, here on phase 4, I had like true melee buffs. You know, like, this is not something that. It usually happens when I'm using this team because I am constantly using Megalda's healing and Mally ends up by phase 4 he has like 10 buffs so his level 1 cards do almost damage cap, right? Um, so yeah, I, I think maybe a different team will work out better. She is good for the new activity though. I'm, I, I will make a video on her on the new activity especially when I, it gets closer to releasing on global because uh, right now no one cares about the new activity because no one has... Most people, surprisingly, only keep up with news about characters releasing, not much about activities. So they only really realize an activity comes out when it actually releases on global. Um, so like, you know, <laughs> the the deer boss. I'm holding my videos on on more videos on the deer boss when it actually comes out on global. People will pick up interest on it. Um, that boss is much harder than the bird. So <laughs> yeah, uh, but she's good for it. Because um, if you don't have Matrona especially, she can work out as a buff removal. And she's a red character. Which if you don't know, if you haven't watched any videos on the new boss, it, you watch it. But it, it's important to have a red character. She's a red character. She has two attack cards, which is huge for that boss. Um, and she's, she's lowering his attack and, and, and increasing damage. So she works out pretty well. I'll definitely uh, give her a go. Uh, I'll copy a team Andy made with, uh, it was, it was Melly, Arthur, Brynhildr, and Sky. Oh, so basically, July is basically the same, the same team I, I actually said. I said Brynhildr for this only because, um, then you have two healers, two alt healers. Um, so it should work out pretty well. So I, I, I will, I will make a video on her on the other boss as well, for sure. This is pretty good. It's, it's weird, because she's a unit that doesn't give me a vibe that she's made for a future character. Like, a lot of new characters that come out that don't seem insanely impressive, 
I, on the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, so they're gonna be support for a new character, right? Like, uh, Miguelda was, Miguelda was definitely support for Meliodas before he came out. Just like, um, Excalibur Arthur was support for Bond before Bond came out. Characters like that. They release a bunch of those. Um, I, I think, I think there is, there is a chance of that. But I think that she just came out as like a pretty good, she's not like, OP. You know, she's not like, a must summon character right now. But at the same time, she's not bad. Like, see, my ult, I'm 5'6". So my ult basically full healed right there. Um, and she's, she has an AoE ultimate, which is a little unfortunate. Because uh, it would have been great not having an AoE ultimate. Uh, so yeah, it conflicts right here because I, I want to heal. Because using Megaldo's healing gives me two buffs for the, right there, right? One buff from using the healing card and one buff from full healing. So it's really good for Meliodas. And at the same time, it also buffs Scotty as well. Which, as you might have been, you know, paying attention, her single target cards do good damage. Um, so it's not like she's being just like, oh, she's just lowering the bird's attack and defense. No, she's actually doing damage. Plus, for each debuff on top of her, she's increasing the damage of the whole team overall. Not that the team needed more damage, but, I mean, you saw 92k from Matrona. Like, I know this is only phase 2 of the second floor, but, like, bro, that's Matrona, right? She got like f she got like five stacks of uh, of Megalda plus you know four debuffs on on Scotty. That's an increase of a uh, sixty percent damage. Uh, it makes sense actually. I think I mean I don't know. I think there's gonna be like multiple PV activities where I can see that this new Scotty is gonna be good for actually. Just not even, not even like um, you know just bird and stuff. Just random PV activities that they release. You know. Because of the whole debuff thing, if the boss itself debuffs you quite, quite a lot, there's a really good chance that she's going to be good for it. And here you can see, like, I, I didn't even bother cleansing. Uh, I just want to have the debuffs on me. This is the one thing, like, you know, <laughs> my instincts are, you know, use the heal card. It's going to give you a buff. It's going to give you, you know, health. Um, so I should use it, but here I don't really... I don't really feel like I should because it would cleanse. I think if I took off Megaldo's Holy Relic, it would work better. But at the same time, like Megaldo's Holy Relic is worth <laughs> removing one debuff off of her because, as the like the very same moment you use the the heal, it applies a buff, and then if you full heal, it's there's a second buff. It's like it's definitely worth it, even if. Uh, it removes 15% of damage, just having that extra stack is always going to be worth it. But yeah, stage 3 was, was a breeze. I mean, again, like, I, I could use her for damage with her cards. And I I, uh, I had in the back of my mind, like, the, her ultimate can always be a, oh, I need healing. So I just ult with her, or I just push her ultimate for the next phase. So she works out pretty well in that regard, for sure. And again... <laughs> I just find it very funny having two giants. <laughs> Although I, I do wish that the, the giants on this game had like better height representation. Like she she is I think shorter than Matrona. I need to actually check that. Um so I'll point it out, I didn't even know, like Dro is like 25 meters tall or some shit like that. It's like that's insane. Imagine how insane he would look in game. Like for comparison, like let me. Okay, I know a lot of you are American. Let me put uh, meters to feet. How much is twenty-five meters in feet? Feet is so weird. Eighty-two feet. He's eighty-two feet tall. Draw is huge. So like, <laughs> she looks m small compared to him. She's eight meters tall. He's twenty-five. I wish. Uh, I wish we had like better representation of it in the game like how humongous some of the giants look and the end is even taller then it's like someone said it's like, she's, it's like 16 meters i need to check that but <laughs> i kind of wish that because it would be even funnier like if we had like matronin and she's like super tall and then we have Skylar, which is like very tall and then we have just megelda like like on the bottom like barely visible it'd be kind of funny well, it's not, it's not a big complaint, you know, it's just, it's just kind of, like, it'd be kind of funny. 
Having two single targets also really helps her because um, you know, Milio does one single targets. So for sure, getting his, getting his passive as fast as possible, especially the um, the damage reduction passive, is so useful for uh, phase three, or you know, or uh, floor three in general. So here I know, like, one thing about Miguel is that she takes a lot of damage. Like, she takes a lot of damage. Um, so having a, another another person that can heal is actually very very beneficial. Like even when Megalda has like multiple stacks, she still takes so much damage. Which I don't think is a problem. Like especially if you're using the healing cards, I'm not using the healing cards right here. I've uh, I switched. Now that I have a better toy, I've switched from using the healing card side to using the new card set, the one that you farm that you get from um, farming the bird, uh, where you get 20% extra single target damage from, you know, the card set. Uh, I've seen so many screenshots of people getting the card set on their first try on stage ones, like, that's insane. If you get the card set, or the card, the bird card, it has the highest stats, the highest stats of any card in the game. Like, floor one, on the first try, I wanna know. Because a, a lot of global players are gonna have the... Like, if I'm seeing so many JP players, getting it and you know majority of my audience plays global i can only imagine how many tweets i'm gonna be getting like oh i just got the bird card is it good is it, <laughs> is it good I didn't, I didn't even know there was one so many so her healing alt here is gonna help me get much much and make out another stack and here you can see i already have like five debuffs on her right because I'm, I'm i'm trying to stack her own debuffs with her card as well. So like right here I'm gonna have five. Then the ult of Melee. Melee would do damage cap regardless, but yeah. Um I think it's like next turn I have like nine debuffs. Maybe not, ne not next turn. But at one point I have like so many debuffs and I check his attack. And it's like he has less than half of his attack. I think I check it right here as well. Yeah, so right here I have some how many? Six, seven, I have seven debuffs. So yeah, he's losing more than half of his attack. Which, I mean, for this phase, um, his attack doesn't matter that much because he's not really going to be doing that much damage to you. Uh, the, the biggest gimmick of phase 3 is not like, I guess, surviving it. is killing him before he starts disabling your stuff. So for here, it doesn't matter. But for phase 4, it matters. Phase 4 hits you hard. You know? Unfortunately, <laughs> you won't get to see that. <laughs> because... Um, you know, I have melee, and melee just demolishes. So yeah, is it six, seven, eight? Okay, maybe I, I miscounted. Eight debuffs. And I do cleanse one, because I do want to uh, get melee stacks for the next uh, phase. Yeah, melee, I mean, melee, you know, not only his melee, so he's going to be doing damage cap with level ones, just like I did right there. But also, um, I would... I was having like the damage increase from the uh, Scotty, so I don't know how much that helped because again it's Meliodas, but maybe it did, you know. And if it did help even a little bit, I think that's good. That's the Scotty. See, I think she's—I don't think she's like insane. That—that's the thing, right? It's like one of those characters where like I'm—I'm I'm not saying like ah she's bad, or I'm saying like oh my god she's insanely busted into someone. She's like pretty good, and I think that's fine. Not every character has to be bad, not every character has to be broken. She's just pretty good. Nice. 